Hello YouTubers! Today joining me on this DIY tutorial is my mother. She is our demonstrator of the day. First, this is a two a combo of two DIYs, the shirt romper and the tube top. Using a ruler, cut a straight line using your armpit, the armpit part of the shirt as a finish, as your stopping point, and guide. Cut down the sleeve. And underneath the collar, cut straight across your shirt, the top of your shirt. With straight pins, pin together the two sides that you have cut. That will be the side seams. And when you sew this, sew them with a straight stitch. On to the rumper. As in the shirt rumper tutorial, make sure to align the two side seams together. Smoothing out your shirt will make this rumper come out to be perfection. Now place your front and back shirt, well your front and back rumper pattern or sh shorts pattern onto the bottom of your shirt. And pin the pattern down. To measure, to know that your shirt will fit, measure your hips and divide that measurement by four and measure the number, the measurement that you got by four from the side seam of your shirt. From, and for the front, cut up to the line, the dotted line where it says shorten and lengthen here. In the back, repeat the same process, but divert off of the fabric to make a curve. For this shirt, since it's not long or not big enough for me at the bottom or across, we will be adding a piece. And my measurement divided by 4 is 11, so this is not 11 inches across it is nine so we have to add three more inches onto our shirt and do that by taking the sleeve the excess fabric from the sleeve and cutting the three inches onto our shirt and from the back from 5 inches, we're going to cut a curve up to the front of our tube top part. This will help it fit better, the top of your tube top fit better. It's not necessary, but you can do this, you can do that step. For the elastic, make sure to measure the top on top of your bus, the chest part of your that's on top of your bus, and subtract that measurement by three and cut your elastic from that measurement subtracted by three. And we are we have marked four places in our elastic, the front, the back, and the side of our shirt will be the location where these four markers and when you sew sew the elastic on a zigzag stitch and sew the elastic to the top of the shirt and then flip that under for a cleaner and more professional look now pin the legs 
pin your rump your short part of your rumper together first by pinning your legs and if you add a piece just add that and pin it in between the two edges of your legs remember to sew the legs before sewing the crotch crouch of your shorts And after you've done that, pin the crouch together and then sew that. So this short pattern will be sewn on a straight stitch like the side seams. Of our tube top. This is what your short should look like after it's been sewn. The last and final part of this DIY tutorial is the front tab of your shirt. Make sure to fold it down and sew it flat so it does not stick out. You may add elastic for the waistband if you like to, but as you'll see in my finished product, I like to wear a belt to cinch the waist, but elastic can be added as well. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to watch other more videos from my shirt series. There's so many things.